you know, first of all, come to my fucking, wait, come to my performance. Got music performance with featuring this banana. Open up your mind. What is it? May 24th, Cafe Elevato, St. George, Utah. Come on. What's up, guys? Peter. It's me. How you doing? Oh, I'm okay. How are you? Good. You know why I'm here? Um, I'm not sure. Okay, so uh, I got a phone call from the Gold Ore store. I guess it's possible you want a little background. Can I just quickly say, I did a performance at an open mic, at a poetry night where I talked about how I stole $22,000 worth of gold from the store, from the gold ore store in St. George by casting a spell on them. I got a phone call from the Gold Ore store okay. down on Main Street. I'm familiar. Were, okay. And they uh, saw your video on YouTube that you had posted mm -hmm. at, at Elevation. Is it Cafe? Elevato. Elevato. That's, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just here to try to figure out if that story you told was true or not. Hmm. About the stealing of $22,000 worth of gold. Were they not aware of if it was true or not? They're going through their inventory right now. I just wanted to get your side of the story. Oh, that's silly. Of course it's not true. Okay. Well, that's what I thought, but I'm just doing my due diligence. Yeah. Just trying to follow up, okay? Right, As right. of right now, there's no evidence of anything. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to talk to you first and get your side of the story. That's it. Okay. That, that's, and that's what I figured. I figured you were just telling the story and made it up. But right. again, you, you had props. I'm not sure if they were props, but... It did appear that you did have gold, so that's why I'm here. I'm just following up. All right. They missed the part in the video where I talked about casting a magical spell, I guess. Yeah, and see, no, I caught that too, and I was like, well, it sounds like it's just a story, but I just wanted to follow up just so nobody can say that I didn't do my part. Does of course. that make sense? Sure, sure. Okay. All right, man. Appreciate you uh, coming out and talking with me. My and, pleasure. I mean, it can be, you know, you can see how that story could be taken the wrong way. I suppose I can. It's, yeah. it's really challenging for me to understand um, how they wouldn't know if $22,000 worth of uh, gold bullion was missing. Yep, exactly. Arbitrarily. Yeah. But. No, but I get your, I, I get it. But at, at the same time, you know, you are confessing to a crime. Right, right. And so that needed to be followed up on. Okay. Mm, gotcha. So that's why I'm at your door. Okay. All right. Appreciate your time. Thank All you. All right. Wish you guys a good day. You Later. And uh, this is a part of the video where I call the gold ore store to say, guys, what's going on? Hi, Jackson. Uh, may I speak with the uh, manager or owner? He is in Africa at the moment. Okay. Oh, uh, no, maybe I could just talk to you. Um, this is Peter Litvin. I'm just wondering why you guys called the um, police. The cops just came to my house. I'm sorry, who is this? Yeah, this is Peter. I had made a video about a story about uh, stealing $22,000 worth of gold from your store. And uh, I was just, they said you guys called the police. Maybe you don't know anything about it, or? Well, I mean, it's uh, mildly concerning when you're making a story about stealing from a small town business. Right, right, right. So that was it, though. You guys thought it might have been true that uh, I stole $22,000 worth of bullion from your store? Well, when there's no actual disclaimer saying of, of you saying, oh, this is a, a falsified story or anything like that, yeah. Hmm. Did you think I cast a magical spell too? Because I said I did that in the video as well. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna cut this conversation here. Oh no, we can't talk more? You know, final thoughts on this. 
I can't blame the cops for anything. They're doing their job. They were nice enough. But the Gold Aura store, I'm sorry. You gotta be fucking stupid to, to see a video like that and to not know that it's... Well, let me just say this. How do you not know if you've lost $22,000 worth of gold bullion? Which I did steal from them. I just want to be very clear about that. I stole the $22,000 worth of gold from the gold ore store and lied to everyone about it. Guys, this, this doesn't have a name. It doesn't? No. Do you want it to have a name? No, it's, it's, too, uh, it's too remarkable to have a name. And it's not what I wrote that's remarkable. It's what happened. Anyhow. Oh my gosh. Uh, you, know the, you know that store downtown, the uh, gold one? It's near the church, the roundabout, the twisted noodle, and that silly, malicious, holistic crystal shop run by a very creative opportunist. Anyhow, like I was saying, the gold shop, it's called the Gold Ore Store, downtown St. George. I went there today intending to commit a crime, and guess what? I did, and it was an utter success. Prepare yourselves for this. I stole what turned out to be about $22,000 worth of gold. I'm not kidding either, it's right here. Take a look. Oh my gosh. Are we accessories to a crime? <laughs> like... Uh, 10 one ounce gold bars, mostly minted Pamp Suisse and Credit Suisse, so Swiss gold, if that means anything to you. But yeah, it's 10 one ounce gold bars, and at the uh, price of gold today, that's about $2,160 an ounce. So in total, these are currently valued at $21,600, but I like to estimate up to $22,000. I feel like a pirate, although I'm only about half as dirty. Now, a few words about my method. How did I do it? And how can you do the same should you wish to inherit a bounty of stolen treasures in broad daylight in St. George, Utah? Well, it was pretty straightforward. I walked into the gold ore store, downtown St. George, pretending to be a customer. I spent time inside, looking around at the various offerings and wares. But really, I was waiting for the moment the shopkeeper would go into the back, leaving me and the two other customers alone. But, and this is important, uh, and I can hardly believe I waited until now to mention this detail, uh, I had in fact previously cast a spell on the shopkeeper. My methods for effectively casting this spell, simple as they may be, cannot be retold here and now on this stage. But motherfucker, I can hardly believe it myself, the shit really worked. So please never forget, magic is real. Will you say it once more with me? Magic is real. But back to the theft. As I was saying, the shopkeeper went in back precisely when I wished her to. In that moment, I walked without hesitation to the glass counter display containing the bullion, coins, and bars. I stepped behind the counter, reached in, and casually counted out 10 brand new gold bars, and then I walked out the front door. It was easy. Sure, the cameras might have seen me, but what of it? Do you really think that the St. George PD is going to apprehend me? What if I told you that I had woven some magic into the tapestry of that operation as well? There's no other way to say it. My plan worked out beautifully, brilliantly even, and when I was carrying out the plan, I felt calmness, relaxation. It left me wondering if crime is in my bloodline. Prior to walking into the Gold War store in downtown St. George, I had anticipated my heart beating so hard and so fast that it would burst out of my chest, but that simply didn't happen. I felt at ease. Do you like me less now? Maybe you like me more? Maybe you don't care. How do you feel about my crime? My filthy, devious, arrogant, brilliantly successful crime? Are you envious? Do you want me to teach you magic? Maybe you don't even believe me. A healthy dose of skepticism never hurts. So some of you don't believe me. And if that's the case, then my dear, dear friends, 
the joke is truly on you. And what of the riches, the loot, the booty, the bounty, the treasure, the haul? What will I do with it all? Well, I'm obviously not going to sell them to a gold store in the state of Utah or to Nevada. That would be foolish. I'll probably use American Precious Metal Exchange or AppMets.com. From there, I'll probably just go to Barcelona for half a year. I've been studying Spanish since October, and traditionally, I've gotten along very well with Latin American and Hispanic women. Sort of gross to say, I realize. But what, should I hide my feelings? I think it was Sigmund Freud who said, if you're not fucking, then you're not living. The end. P.S. If you want to hold the treasure or examine it, I invite you to do so. It might be fun. I, for one, have really enjoyed holding it today, and I'd love nothing more than to share that feeling with you. P.S.S. I also stole these pumice stones from Target over the weekend, just for sport. But seeing as how I use a metal rasp on my feet, I don't really need pumice stones, so I'd like to offer them to anyone here who may be in need of pumice stones. The end. Oh my gosh. Very interesting. I feel like you were casting a spell maybe just now.